Hey guys, Decaf13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Devil Survivor Overclocked. In the last episode, we finished off Day 3 by having our battle with Belder, which was very, very close to going very, very bad. <laughs> and we learned that now, since we defeated Belder, we are now involved in the War for the Throne of Bel. And the other demons crowned with the name of Bel are not going to give us any rest until we're dead, or until we kill them ourselves. And in three days, we're going to have to fight against the next Bell Demon, Belial. What fun. Alright, so let's get started. Going right back in. Day four. Crumbling Reason. Morning, everyone. Welcome to the fourth day of the lockdown. Yesterday's battle against Belder seems like a dream. Ow! All this sleeping on the ground is making my back hurt. Yeah, right. That didn't stop you from going out like a light last night. <laughs> Good morning. Let's go over what we're going to be doing today. Hey guys, there's something I've been thinking about. Would you hear me out? Huh? What is it? Well, this lockdown is going on because the demons are a threat to people, right? Uh-huh. We want to lift the lockdown, but to do that, we'd have to rid Tokyo of all the demons. We have no clue how to accomplish that, though. Well, yeah. Honestly, I don't have a clue where to start. Is there really no way to stop the lockdown other than getting rid of the demons? What are you getting at? Right now, we have complete control over the demons we summon through our comps. If we extend that control to all the demons, would there be any point in the lockdown? Hmm. And how do we do that? Right. That's the problem. All I can think of is to look at the summoning program's server and reverse engineer it. If I can find out how the server controls the demons, I just have to copy that. Then, maybe I can use the server itself to gain direct control of all the demons. Hmm. Yeah, that's an amazing plan. <laughs> well, it's not all that brilliant. The problem is actually finding the server. So now, we need to find out the physical location of the system server. Hmm. Hey, well, the Shomunkai ordered it. Yeah, it is their server after all. Naoya is the one who created the system, but... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to find Naoya. I think it'll be faster if we ask the Shomunkai where it is, since Naoya's missing. Mm. In any case, let's try to get in touch with the Shomunkai and find that server. Right. I understand. I'll help you out, too. Thanks, KSK. Hmm. Looks like today's Laplace mail has come in. Let's check it out. What's a Laplace mail? Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about, KSK? You know. It's that email that comes to the comps every morning predicting the future. What? No, I've never gotten an email like that on my comp. Really? Could it be that we're the only ones getting the Laplace mail? Hmm. Uh, anyway, you can read mine, Keisuke. Here. Alright, let's see. Good morning. <laughs> Here's today's news. At 11 o'clock... In the Toyo Shimaku Ikebukuro underground walkway, a homicide will take place following public persecution against demon tamers. The victim will be Midori Kamaki. Oh dear. At 1700 outside the Shibuya, sta outside the Shibuya station, the self-defense force will fatally shoot a popular rock singer. It is suspected that this is a suicide. Throughout the day, riots will increase in intensity as relations between demon tamers and civilians are inc become increasingly strained. The number of suicides increases rapidly today as all sor social order breaks down. Have a... Uh, oh boy, that's uh, that's not good. So Midori's gonna die and a singer. Gee, I wonder who that's gonna be. These events are going to happen? Then Midori really is going to... No, 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 this email is only a prediction of what could happen in the future. Well, it does have a high probability of coming true, though. But if we try really hard, we can change the future from what this says will happen. Uh, Keisuke? This is going to come true, isn't it? W well, it's not absolutely set in stone. Even if it isn't, the reasons behind these events are still true, aren't they? Yeah. I, I can't believe that she's going to be killed by humans, not demons! What do you mean? That's how Midori's going to die! She won't lose her life fighting demons, but she'll be killed by other people! Then let's rescue. Well, you should take her comp. That's not the point! Think for a second! 
No matter what she did, she's been protecting people from the demons all this time! So why would they... Why does she have to be killed by the very people she's trying so hard to protect? That's why we need to rescue her. That's not enough! Even if we save her life, it doesn't solve the problem here! You say, the problem, but... I mean, it's only natural that demons will scare people. No, I don't think it's that simple. People are stressed by this situation, and they're looking for someone to blame for it. They won't do anything themselves, but they'll place all the blame on others. They're just looking for a scapegoat, and they're going to kill Midori for it! Not just Midori, other demon tamers who are helping people will be hunted down too! If we let those bastards continue, nothing good will come of it! I can't let it go! That's true too. Right! That's why we have to take down the bastards who feel that way! Wait, what bastards? You're talking about normal people! You can't go around killing! Can you forgive them then? Those people repay kindness with violence! B but still it's senseless to turn the powers of our demons against normal people What in the world are you thinking Kesuke? I'm not going to help you do this. You're right Everyone has their own opinions. I can't force you to help me. I have my own way of doing things I'll do something about those bastards myself <sighs> Oh no you guys be careful Thanks for everything up to now. Hey, Keisuke! What's gotten into him? He must be really shocked that Midori will be killed by people, not demons. I can sympathize with him, but what's he gonna do? He doesn't want us in this. <gasps> if that's the case, then we really can't leave him alone now. We need to look for Midori too. Keisuke's trying to rescue her. If all goes well, we might be able to find them together. Hmm. That's right. Yeah. We should be careful who we use our comps around, too. It doesn't help Midori if we get killed by a mob before we can save her. Yeah, yuhu has got a point. We should be careful when we use our comps. And, on a different note, I'm worried about the singer who's going to commit suicide. It might be Haru. Y you think so, too? Yesterday, you said Haru had one day left to live. She did seem to be taking her life lightly, so it could be possible. Yeah, if it's Haru, then I want to help her. At 1700. We're concerned about Midori and Keisuke, but don't forget. Hey, should I let you know when it's 1700? Yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Okay, I'll be sure to keep that in mind and let you know. Right. On top of all this, if we don't do something in three days, everyone here will die. Ah, it's bad enough being dragged into this thing with the throne of Bell. In any case, we need to get moving. First, we gotta save Midori. Alright. Ooh, and actually today, with Haru's thing, it's actually possible for you to fuck up and let Haru die. If you don't go to her event at 1700, she will die. So yeah, keep, keep that in mind. I'm going to talk a little bit more about what happens after uh, we go see Haru later today, but whew, it's it's not good what happens. Uh, what's going on with you? Japanese government shouldn't wait to execute the final option. Even if the humans here die, they'll quickly multiply again. What? I'm saying that your government is being far too lenient, as is Remiel. Humanity should be forsaken. Cool. Uh, well, Midori. Hey, someone's coming this way. Something might be happening. Hey, you shouldn't go up ahead. There are demons fighting each other. Demons fighting? Are there demon tamers? Demon tamers? Hell if I know. This girl in crazy clothes shouted at the demons, and they started fighting each other. But that could be Midori. W was she trying to help people? No. This girl showed up with demons, and more demons appeared and started fighting. If she hadn't come in the first place, those other demons wouldn't have come. She's a witch. It's gotta be. She's controlling the demons that ruin the world. Oh, no. This isn't good. It looks like everybody's starting to hate Midori. If she keeps this up... We have to save her. Right. This is the last of them. My magical punishment strikes all and justice prevails! Midori, what do you think you're doing? 
Were you watching me? I was just getting rid of those pesky demons. If I whittle them down, less people will be hurt. Such is a hero's duty. Now let's see. Where's my next enemy? Wait, Midori! Ah, damn it. The lockdown has everyone in a total panic already. Flashing demons at them won't help. Midori isn't paying attention to how people react to her. At this rate... Yeah, we've got to do something. Let's protect her. Mm-hmm. We've got to save her. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to stop her easily. Uh what's going on with Mane? God has once again sent an ordeal to mankind as we gain technological power. If we can overcome this challenge, humanity will move on to the next spiritual phase. And we will be one step closer to the glory of God. The Shomunkai think this is a challenge for us to get closer to God, huh? Well, Amane has a very dignified way of speaking. No wonder she's a leader. But don't the Shomunkai use altered comps? Then they use those comps to summon demons themselves, don't they? Using demons to get closer to God? Doesn't that seem strange to you? Hmm. Once again, our paths cross. What are your thoughts on God and demons? If God is a perfect being, why would he create creatures such as demons to tempt humans? What? Uh, you handle this. Oh, thanks, Itsura. Uh, as an ordeal for us. A sublime answer. Yes, that is what we believe as well. Demons were created from the beginning to be those that would rebel against God. Demons are beings that deceive and corrupt the human heart. When mankind takes that power, those pure of heart will not give in to temptation. Is that not the very mechanism behind a true reformation of humanity? That is the reasoning behind why we use these beings in our own work. This is a fine time to speak with me. Is there anything you would wish to know? Hmm. Well, how about overcoming the ordeal? In the past, humanity made an attempt to reach the heavens through technology. Mankind was then defeated by an ordeal sent from God that divided our languages. Hmm. Now, after many long centuries, mankind has overcome its communication barrier. God does not think highly of this, and has sent another ordeal. But we must stay firm. If we rise up in power and overcome God's challenge, will our progress not please Him? The Shomunkai will use man's power to beckon His Majesty for the strength to persevere. If we use the power of higher beings to overcome the ordeal, humans will truly be free. That is why the Shomunkai created the comps. Yeah, what about the server? Are you referring to the server that manages the demon summoning program? Unfortunately, I cannot answer that question. Even were I to tell you, there is absolutely no way you could reach it as of now. Hmm. What's in the way? Do you think such a machine would be an ordinary device? Would it be placed in some office somewhere, tucked innocently away? I won't stop you from seeking the server. However, will you be able to find it? Okay, what about the comps? As you are aware, the comps we created summon demons and utilize their powers. However, the comps themselves are merely tools used to grant us the demon's power. Do you understand? The important fact is that from then on, the user has access to a great power. It is in how we put that power to use that we are truly judged. Humanity will come to an awakening. You all wish an end to this lockdown and a return to your lives, correct? There will surely be many paths available for you to choose on your journey. You must not look aside. Find the truth and continue along the path you believe in. You will meet many people who will guide you and you must know the principles they hold. Once that happens, the path you should follow will appear before you. Hmm. Huh? What was all that about? What did she mean about the server? Hmm. It's just a story. Since the server can summon demons, it won't be in any ordinary place. That's what she was getting at. But no matter how special it is, it must be somewhere. Fine. If they won't tell us where it is, we'll find it some other way. Mm. What other way? 
our comps connect to the server every time there's some sort of information exchange. If we look into the comp, I bet we can learn something about the server. Uh, okay. I don't really get it, though. But what was all that will-you-be-able-to-find-it stuff? She's making fun of us, isn't she? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so either. She was taunting us to make us want to do it. Huh? What do you mean? Think about it. Remember that now you was the one who got us into this mess to begin with. He helped the Shomunkai to create the summoning program and the modified comps. Maybe they have some scheme and are purposely trying to get us to look for the server. Hmm. If that's true, I'll never forgive them. Playing around with people's lives while they sit back and act like gods? Don't even think about picking a fight, Yuhu. There's way too many of them. We don't know what they're up to right now. But we'll figure out their plan sooner or later. Let's have a surprise ready for them. Alright, we have Atsuro and Honda left. Actually, you know what? Real quick, I want to check out the free battles. Just to make sure there are no skills I'm missing. Well, I might be missing Petra Eyes and Plus Stone, but that should be it. Nothing here. Oh, uh, this might be it. I see all these fucking case sets. Petra Eyes, Plus Stone, Life Surge, and Retaliate. What's Life Surge? Oh, the Loa. Hmm. Ooh, you know what? That reminds me. Oh, kind of sucks because we only have three people now. Uh, let's put Keisuke's demons back. I want to put Drain on myself. Yeah, instead of Zio. There we go. Drain. I'm liking this setup already. I'm trying to think. Do I want Yuzu to have... You know what? I don't want Yuzu to have Hustle. I want to give her Fortify. Just give her a boost to her defenses. Hmm. I'm also going to give her Medaya for now. Just so she can heal up her team. That Sura definitely needs a new way to heal. Hmm. Basilisks are there. Ooh, and there's a memory card too. You don't have a basilisk, you just. You know what, let's try to do it. Atsuro. You go after that one. Use you can get plus stone from this one. And I will try to get life surge from that Lova. So, like usual, I'm just going to cut this out, and uh, I'll see you guys in just a flash. <clears throat> Alright, I got most of the skills we need we had there, except for one, but I'm not really bothering to go back to get it for now. Let's see, either it's Sura or Honda. Let's talk to uh, Honda. Hello there, kids. Hey. Uh, where's Kaido? Oh, he's out doing something on his own. He'll be back soon, though. He's a tough one. I know I've got a better chance to survive now that I'm working with him. You guys are friends, so you can understand how reassuring it is to trust someone, right? Of course. By the way, Mr. Honda, what kind of job did you have before you got stuck in the lockdown? Me? <laughs> Just an ordinary clock-punching office drone. Um, honestly, you don't seem like a regular businessman to me. You learned how to use a comp easily, and you don't seem to be panicking at all. Mr. Honda, did you know the lockdown was going to happen beforehand? Hmm. What makes you think that? Uh, your radio. Well, you got me. You're pretty clever. Please, tell us the truth. We need to know what's going on. Hmm. No use lying to you. I was hired by a corporation. 
I can't say who, but they told me about the comps beforehand. Hmm. So you're here for a comp? Yeah. Uh, more specifically, my goal was to get a demon that was summoned by a comp. If demons did exist, many corporations would want to research them for huge profit. Hmm. So I was sent in as an advance man, and, well, you can see how that all ended up. So you're stuck here, too. That's correct. The guards won't even let an ant crawl out of this lockdown. That's why I need to make surviving this and returning home my top priority. I need to get out of here and see my son, who's waiting for an operation. I can't give up. Sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you. If you have any info, it'd be great if you shared. So Honda's here because he was after a comp, huh? Yeah. He said he was hired by a corporation. What exactly do they plan to do with the demon? There's no guarantee they'd use it for a good purpose. It's kind of a scary thought. Hmm. Yeah, it depends on who uses it. You're right. It's more than possible for demons to be used in a peaceful manner, but their power can be used for crimes or to start wars. I hope that's not the case. I feel sorry for Honda, but I can't exactly hope that he escapes. I'm surprised that you both realized Honda was hiding something. I mean, it's odd for a normal office guy to have a radio transmitter on him, isn't it? If I was wrong, I would have had no choice but to seriously apologize to him. Huh? So you tricked him into telling the truth, not knowing if you were right about him? <laughs> Who cares? It worked out, right? Come on, let's get going. Good bluff, Atsuro. Oh, we got Squinty. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's talk to Atsuro. Container with food and clothing is in the streets, surrounded by a throng. The stronger people are holding on to the goods, and, the fi and fights are breaking out. The weak, the children, and the elderly will be unable to get any food soon. Ow! Woo! Well, we managed to grab some grub somehow. Thanks, guys. But this is awful. Stores are being looted, too. This is really getting serious. We'll be okay, but kids and old people... Let's share our food. Yeah, but we don't have a lot to go around. We have to lift the lockdown as soon as possible so we can put an end to this. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, Midori's time has come. So let's do this and get this over with. You've caused us too much grief. You won't be getting away this time. No, no! You little witch. This is all your fault. <laughs> You're not getting away. After her! Hey, wasn't that... We've got to move. Come on! Now you're trapped, witch! I'm not a witch! I just wanted to help! Liar! My friend was killed by demons! The same demons you summon and allow to roam our streets! Admit it, witch! No, no You've got it all wrong! You treated us like insects. Now you're gonna pay for it! Say your prayers! There she is! We got here just in time! Hurry, though! They're about to attack her! Yeah, let's chase them away. Hang in there, Midori! We'll save you! So here's the thing about this one. You gotta make it so... These people will leave Midori on it. It's still enough to reach her. Gotta make sure these people don't kill Midori, and, uh, yeah, we can't kill them ourselves, either. So here we go. What is with all the fucking helicopters flying over? What the hell? We can't go all out on these guys! They're just normal people! Yeah, we can't let the Demon Tamer's reputation get worse! We have to be careful! Yeah. Here we go. Oh, 
Dory's not gonna move. The hell you doing here, huh? You friends with this witch? Get lost or you'll be sorry! We'll see about that. Let's just put a little damage on that guy on the end. Tamers too! They're gonna kill us! Run! What fucking wusses? No, I I need to get out of here! Ah! Alright, well they won't bother him. And so they run away. Oh dear. I found you. Is that Keisuke? People like you are trash. You get your lives saved and then turn on your savior. If there is no order or law within this lockdown, I will be the judge of your sins. That voice. It's just like what happened with Kaido. Oh no. Yes, I do want it. I want justice. Yama? I know you. The king of the underworld, also known as Enma. <laughs> Excellent. There is no demon better suited to judge evildoers. Mm -hmm. Another demon tamer? This isn't good. Yeah, can you be able to shut the fuck up and get out of here? Now, Yama, pass judgment in the name of justice. Show them the weight of their sins. Mm. Ah, help me! Oh yeah, now, now that you're in danger, you want help. It's too late to plead for your life. Regret your actions for all eternity in hell. Keisuke, stop! What the hell are you doing? Maybe it was good fortune that I was caught in this lockdown. Some people in this world harm society just by existing. They have no right to live since order and law are gone. I will be the bastion of justice with Yama's power. Do you realize what you're saying, Keisuke? You can't do that! Don't you get it? I've always felt, even before the lockdown, that this society has long since been broken. Power is necessary to uphold justice, or order will continue to crumble. That's the proper use for power, isn't it? Why? Why can't you understand? We, we can't go over there! He'll kill us! We have to go the other way! Keisuke, why are you taking it this far? What the hell, Keisuke? What happened to you? Please, everyone! Please, don't let Keisuke become a murderer! I know. Using power to judge people won't change anything. You know, honestly, I completely agree with Keisuke's ideology. What are you doing, Keisuke? What happened to you? People are always like this. They ask for help when they're in need, but soon they forget and become the persecutors. People like that are scum. Their existence is a sin, and they deserve to be judged. They will never, ever, ever change their ways. If no one is there to judge them, they will just repeat their crimes. Again, I completely agree with Keisuke. These people definitely deserve to die, but... Keisuke, stop! Don't interfere. If you do, I will have to defeat you as well. We should probably stop him. All right, uh, let's take out the Baisei. Actually, 
probably should turn my sets to power, but oh well. We should be fine. Yeah, we we we're we're definitely good here. Uh, I'm gonna just power hit an Alagiri. Oh, I poisoned the case guy. Oh yeah, and since I have an Alagiri, who is a Kishin, he is the special racial skill double up, so I can do this. <laughs> Kishins are so good. One good power hit should be enough to finish him. I said one good power hit. That wasn't a good power hit. That's a good power hit. Keisuke, are you finished now? Come to your senses, man. I wanted you of all people to understand. Next time, I won't hold back. You witch! I'll kill you someday! Shut up and get out of here, you fucking wastes of life. We'll get you sooner or later, demon users! Yeah, okay. I... I knew it. She is a witch! She... she has to die! You fucking dumbasses are the ones who need to die. Keisuke... Those people were wrong to attack Midori, but... to just kill them... That wouldn't exactly be the wrong thing, but... it's not exactly right, either. <sighs> he summoned a demon. Yeah. He must have been really, really mad. Hey, about that demon, Yama. Keisuke said it was the same as Enma. Enma, the judge of the underworld. At least it doesn't seem to be evil. Man, is it really that easy for a human to summon a demon without a comp? All you need is a strong will and desire, and you can call a demon over? Gotta be joking. Mm. Um... Midori? Midori, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks for rescuing me. Now do you understand that not everyone will thank you if you try to do good deeds? If you've learned your lesson, you have to lay lower from now on, okay? No. What? Laying low means I'd be abandoning people who are in trouble. I... I can't do that. Ugh, that's not what I meant. I'm happy that you saved me, but I'm gonna keep dispensing justice my way! Hey, Midori! Jeez, we prevented the Laplace male's prediction, but she's gonna do it all over again. Hey, how many days did Midori's number say she had left to live? He was still at zero. Huh? How can that be? No way! What are we supposed to do then? We should follow Midori. Right, let's make sure Midori's safe, okay? Then we'll go find Keisuke. Thanks for thinking about Keisuke too, Yuzu. Still, I didn't think normal people would start hating demon tamers this badly. I never thought we'd have to fight people. Yeah, I'm not Keisuke, but I'm pretty depressed about it too. I didn't think people could be this stupid. It's a shock. Well, you gotta start, you gotta start expecting less of people. I already do. Right. Even if Midori is attacked by civilians, she wouldn't fight back. But Keisuke didn't show any hesitation to attack those people. I wonder what others would do if they got attacked by the ones they rescued. Hmm. Hey, they'd stop helping. Yeah. Even if they didn't fight back, they wouldn't want to keep helping people. I don't know how long we can take this. What are we going to do if that happens? Hmm. Well, I don't see Midori anywhere. Thought she would be available after this. Uh, hey, what's going on, Jin? Those guys get on my nerves. Don't they know what's going on? Lazy asses. Can't they at least offer to help however they can? They're just sitting there laughing as they leech off other people. Jeez. But then, that could have been us. Huh? 
Okay, hold on a second, guys. I gotta go murder my cat, because it's annoying the shit out of me. I'm saying maybe we would have done the same thing. We went through a lot because we had our comps. But if we didn't... See what I mean? Yeah. You might be right. Oops, I have to take a leak. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a walk. I can't stand to look at those guys anymore. Are you upset? It's natural you should feel that way. Yeah, they piss me off. I'm not surprised. For folks who actually make an effort, their idiocy is an eyesore. They assume everything will work out. That everyone's in the same boat, so it'll be okay. They won't put in the work, but they want results. The world ain't that easy. But to be honest... I was no different until she snapped me out of it. Who's she? Her name was Aya. She was my lover. It's thanks to her I am who I am. She disappeared suddenly about six months ago. It was a cold, rainy day. <laughs> she called me to pick her up at the station. She forgot her umbrella. Well, I went, but she wasn't there. And I haven't seen her since. If she'd gotten sick of me, that's fine. But if she's in trouble, I want to save her. No, I'm worried too. I did a little investigating, and I heard from someone who saw Aya at the station. According to his story, Aya got in a car with someone from the Shomankai. The Shomankai? There's no proof it was the Shomankai, but that's the only clue I have to go on. Hey, you want me to help? <laughs> Sorry. I let it get to me again. But maybe this is fate. It'd really help me out if you pass on any info you find. Alright, I'll ask around. Thanks. I'll snoop around the Shomankai some. I just know they're hiding something. I can tell because they seem to know about me and Aya. They act real skittish around me. My gut feeling tells me that the Shomankai needed her for a specific purpose. Tell me anything you learn that points to Aya, no matter how slight it seems. Huh? Was that Jin? What was he saying? Man, the line for the bathroom was unreal. Hmm? What are you guys standing around for? Let's go! Can we actually do this here? Oh, we can. Hmm. Why are you asking about Lady Aya? Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Why are you asking... Azuma's guest, huh? Let's try asking again. Will you quit bugging us? If you want to see her so much, go talk to Master Azuma. He'll be at the hills in Rapongi at 1200 in two days. Ask him yourself. Tell that other guy who was asking about Aya, too. Yes, we might be able to learn something about Aya now. Let's go tell Jin. All right. Well, we'll do that when we can. For now, we gotta talk to Azuma. Hey, isn't that guy one of the higher-ups in the Shomunkai? Yeah, hey, why don't we ask him about the server? Hey, yeah. We need to get that info out of him without making him suspicious. Excuse me, um, are you a member of the Shomunkai? Yes, I am Azuma. You're the ones I've seen speaking with Lady Amane. Is there something I can help you with? Or are you here to see Lady Amane again? Oh, there's something we'd like to ask you. If there's something I can answer. Please feel free to ask. Let's ask about Naoya. Naoya. Are you acquaintances of his? Hmm. Well, he was here until he completed his work on the demon summoning program. But that man has disappeared, and not even we can locate his current whereabouts. We will be disposing of the items in his room by tomorrow. I see. 
You have an interest in the demon summoning program? I can only guess what reasons you would have to ask me that. I'm sorry, I cannot answer such questions directly. Still, perhaps I could give you a less problematic answer. The server running the demon summoning program is no longer in our hands. What do you mean? The server exists in a place where humans can no longer reach. It is in God's hands. Not even we can get to it. For who in this world could step into the kingdom of God? Only God can come into contact with the server. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of much help. Do you have any further questions? Uh, how about Belial? I cannot speak of that. By the rules of the Shomonkai, only a selected few are able to speak of gods and demons. Who can, then? Man is subjective by nature. With more narrators, there will be more interpretations. In order to prevent a clouding of the truth, only two in the Shomonkai may speak of them. Please, wait a moment. I will go call for them right now. Who's he gonna bring? Is it going to be Amane after all that? Who knows? Oh, here comes somebody. Huh? It's... I'm sorry for the wait. Azuma told me of your conversation. The Shoman Kai interests you? Of course, it's the power of the internet, man. I do not have much time, so I must be brief. I hope that you will understand. Uh, please go ahead. The being the Shoman Kai refer to as His Majesty is revered as a god with great power. Mankind once failed an ordeal from God, and our tongues split, scattering our people. And now, the ordeal of God is about to come again. We must borrow His Majesty's strength to challenge God's ordeal when the time comes. When all hearts are turned to Him, His Majesty will save us from the trial set upon us. Uh, can I ask something else? Ah, a continuing curiosity. I see. Please, ask me your questions. Uh, let's ask about Bell's Throne. My, you seem to know more about the current situation than I had expected. There is but one thing I can say regarding the battle for the throne of Bell. The King of Bell has already been decided. No matter how much the other Bells struggle, they will always be inferior. Okay, how about Belial? Belial? Hmm. You wish to know of the one known as the Evil Flame? He is the one who brought decadence to Sodom and Gomorrah, and destruction. He is an incarnation of the Inferno, incinerating all. It is said that those who face him will see their own deaths within that flame. I'm very sorry, but my time is up. I must be leaving. Was this conversation helpful? Oh, thank you very much. Ah, well then. Until we meet again. Phew. I don't think I'll ever get used to that guy. <laughs> so Belial is related to fire. Yep, bring on the ice. Yeah. If we have to fight it, it'll be worth it to have some kind of plan. If this Belial is the key to our survival, then this will be important. Yeah, I think so too. Well, if there was any other option, I'd rather just run away. Oh, but we have to do something about Midori first. That's right. Let's look for her. Alright, 12.30. Uh, let's talk to Jin. Hey, what's the matter? Did something happen? Yeah, so this Azuma guy. Azuma, eh? Yeah, supposedly he's going to be at the Hills Building at noon in two days. The Hills Building in two days at noon. Alright, thanks. Maybe this will give me a lead on Aya's whereabouts. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Thanks, guys. That's probably not good. Oh, Midori. Keep searching! That little witch is hiding somewhere! We'll find her! But that girl rescued us! Don't be fooled, Miss O, so young and pretty! She summoned demons! You saw her! There's no doubt that she summoned the demons and turned them loose in the city! <sighs> She's not here! Let's move on to the next place! Uh, the stupidity of humanity never fails to impress me. What was that about? Did something happen here? They were after someone. Could it be... Hey! Who else? Hey! 
Are they gone? Huh? That sounded like... Over here! Behind you! Oh, it's you, Midori! Midori, are you being hunted by people you helped again? Y yeah Do you understand why everyone's scared of you? It's all a misunderstanding. I mean, I was doing the right thing. It's always right to help people, isn't it? If they don't realize it, then that's that. It's not wrong to help. I know, right? I'm not doing anything wrong here. I was always taught that if you have the ability to do what's right, you should. Yeah, saving people from being attacked by demons is a good thing. But don't you think you're ignoring what everyone else is thinking? Wh what I am not! No, you need to understand what they're seeing. Normal people can't tell the difference between normal demons and ones from comps. It's also a fact that there are those who abuse the comp's powers. People don't know if you're good or bad. They're afraid of all demon tamers they see. What do you imagine they'd think if you just strut in and start summoning demons all over? <sighs> think how they feel. How other people feel? That's right. If you try to force them to see the world your way, it's not going to work. Stop beating yourself up. Why? But, but, but... If you want to tell people what's right, you gotta make sure they get the message. I think your dad wants you to understand that too. Um, I still don't really get it, but, uh, um, I'm sorry. But I, I still want to be a real heroine. So, I'll stop showing off. Can I come with you and learn how it's really done? <laughs> sure. Thank you! I'll do my best! Phew. Well, that's one of our objectives. What's next? We have to stop Case Guy. Thanks. It looked like Keisuke just lost himself in anger. I hope this doesn't get worse. Yeah. Shouldn't we be looking into that Belial demon, too? I want to know more about this, too. What the government hopes to do with this lockdown, and what'll happen if it fails? If this lockdown never ends, what are we gonna do? We can stop the cause. Huh? We don't even know what the cause of all this is yet. Can we really stop it? I know you're worried, but we have to try. Otherwise, we'll regret it later. Yeah. Let's pull ourselves together and head on out. Yeah! Let's go! Good to have you on the team, Midori. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can give you. I don't really have a lot in terms of demons, but that should be fine. Uh, let's see. Now for healing, I'll give you Recarm. I thought I had Mazan. Where's Mazan? Oh, he, uh, Yuzu does. Uh. Alright, oh, I don't have anyone with Mabufu. So let's give you Mabufu. And I'll give you Fire as well, because I don't think you have Fire. Well, you have some with Fire Dance. You know what? There's just one element you don't have. It's force. So let's give you Zon. I'll give you mana bonus. Uh, let's see. Ice boost. And anti-fire. Yeah, sure. Uh, sir, I actually want to improve your life bonus to life surge.
All right, and auto skill. Uh, TV hustle. All right, that should be good for teams. Uh, let's go see Jin one more time. Could I borrow you for a second? There's something I want to ask. What is it? Do you know who's been handing out the comps that demon tamers use? Uh, isn't it the Shomonkai? Really? I see. The Shomonkai made the altered comps in the first place. Yeah, I think so too. If that's the case, the Shomonkai seems pretty fishy. Do you have a comp, Jen? Yep, got one right here. Th then you're a demon tamer too, Jen? I try to use it sparingly, but I've had to protect myself a few times. Hmm. Then why are you looking into comps? Comps are everywhere now. It's hard not to think that someone's distributing them. Demons have staggering power. Most people will want to keep that power for themselves, but someone's handing them out on purpose. Now, why do you think they'd do that? Hmm. Good question. If the Shulman Kai are handing out the comps, then they're definitely up to something. And I bet finding out what it is will lead us to the truth behind the lockdown. <laughs> but finding the truth and doing something about it are two different things. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, let's go see what's going on without, Sor uh, without Sora. Hey, I've been thinking, where do you think Naoya designed and built the server? Oh, was that the Shomonkai? I think so too. The Shomonkai hired an outsider to build this important system. I doubt they'd let him work without keeping an eye on him. Now you must have designed the program in a Shomunkai facility. So, you want to look for it? I'm thinking about it. Amane's challenging us, and I really want to find it now. If now you designed the system, he most likely had direct access to it. If we searched where he was working, I thought there might be some clues there. Hey, well, we should hurry then. Well, of course we should look soon, but what's the rush? Didn't you hear Azuma? Crap, that's right! That guy said they were going to clear out Naoya's room. We gotta get there soon! But what are we gonna tell them? We can't just walk up and ask to see Naoya's room. Hey, I'm his cousin. Huh? Hey, that's right! Okay, let's go try that. If a blood relative asked for Naoya's personal belongings, we might have a chance! Oh man, I'm so glad you're with us. <laughs> what can we find? Maybe some source code. Maybe even a memo. We need all the help we can get. Mm. Uh, what did Azuma say? They were going to clean out Naoya's room tomorrow? Let's go back to the Shomunkai facility before then, so we can snag Naoya's stuff. Mm. Speaking of which, where are you, Azuma? There you are. There he is! It's that guy! If we don't hurry, they might throw away all the stuff in Naoya's room. Come on, let's go! Hmm. What's the matter? Forget something? Not really. There's something we'd like to talk to you about concerning Naoya. Naoya. What about him? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm his cousin. Hmm. He did say that he had a cousin going to high school. May I ask you for your name? I'm Vanessa. Hmm. I can see the resemblance between the two of you. Oh, yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> so, uh, can we take the stuff that now you left behind in his room? I see. If you're hoping to find anything, I must inform you otherwise. What he left behind is of no use to anyone. No blueprints, no memos, no personal notes of any kind. All he left behind are some files of numbers and symbols that have no meaning. Hmm. Uh, we want them anyway. You really don't mind taking it? Hmm. I see. If you insist that much, then by all means, you can have them. Please come back tomorrow. We will have them gathered up by then. Thanks a lot! Well then. Alright, that's one thing taken care of. Uh, you know, what's going on with Haru? You must be really bored, huh? Come to hear me ramble on again? Yeah, you know it. You're an odd duck. But you like to listen and I tend to babble, so it works out. So, I told you before about how my relatives neglected me, right? I dropped out of school and lived on my own, taking part-time jobs to pay the bills. I worked morning to night. I was desperate for cash to eke out a living. It was incredibly boring. 
Every day I wondered what I was living for. And then I met someone who gave me a reason to live. Hmm. A teacher, right? Whoa, very sharp, you're right. She was like a teacher who showed me the music. Her name was Aya, and she was a hell of a woman. She gave me a place in this world. Hmm. My band Diva, the songs I sing, Aya gave me all that. It's on hiatus now, but it really was a great band. <laughs> Wish I could have heard it. <laughs> Seriously? That just proves your good taste. <laughs> if you go to a decent record store, you can probably find our CD in the indie section. I highly recommend Aya's tracks. You definitely gotta get yourself a copy. I just wish I knew where Aya was. I lost touch with her a while ago. It's worrying. Hey, should I look for her? <laughs> Thanks. But I don't think you'd find her. I hear she's studying music overseas. Hmm. At least that's what Jin tells me. But if you hear anything, let me know. Oh, but back to the story. The reason I'm here now is all thanks to Aya. I can stay here because she gave me hope through singing. She's very important to me. She's like a mother, a sister, and a best friend all in one. For her, I'd gladly give up my life. Whoa. <laughs> Almost swung back to depressing there. Well, that's enough for today. See ya. Huh? Uh oh! Haru! She's gone. Hey, what did Haru's death clock say? It said zero. So today really is Haru's last. No! I refuse to let that happen. Let's rescue her! We will. Uh, but let's worry about that in the next episode when we take on this battle. Uh, yeah, so in the next one, we'll take on this battle and we are going to, uh, yeah, do more stuff here on day four. So I will see you guys then. Bye!